Hey everyone, Eamon here with another Pacific Championships reaction. We've got the Papua New Guinea Kumuls versus the Cook Islands I2. Um, yeah, so this this is I think the last game of the of like the round robin or like the the group stage or whatever it would be called. Yeah, the group stage. Um, yeah, so the winner of this will be facing the Kiwis, I believe, for like the promotion to like the is it called tier one or the top tier? Let me know what you call it exactly. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll be playing uh, the Kiwis because the Kiwis lost to uh, Tonga the other day. Um, which yeah, that was a crazy match. You can my reaction will be in the <laughs> in the description. Um, but yeah, so this one I'm, I'm expecting. I'm expecting the Kumuls to like win this one. Uh, the Cook Islands definitely seem to be the the least. Uh, like I think they're the smallest nation in the tournament, and yeah, they just aren't on the same level like at all. It seems compared to the other the other nations in the tournament. So, yeah, so I'm expecting a big win here from the Kumuls. Um, and yeah, I guess shout out to the the Kumuls fans and the Papua New Guinea fans because you guys went crazy with the views on uh, my first reaction to you guys. So, yeah, definitely let me know some players to check out and all that stuff. I'll get some more reactions for you because obviously, if yeah, if the if the viewers want uh, to see a certain thing, then yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely do it. So yeah, let me know let me know guys check out and maybe like great games in your team's history and stuff stuff like that would be cool to check out um yeah let's just hop into it make sure to drop a sub drop a like comment your thoughts below hop on the discord um and yeah join me join me on uh what day is that is that sunday for you guys saturday sunday i think um we'll be doing a, uh, a watch party for the for the finals most likely doing the uh like the promotion finals as well but it depends on if i'm not feel if i'm not feeling great that day then we won't do it but um most likely do a double double header live stream so make sure to tune in for that all right let's hop into it Alrighty. all right kumos versus i2 pacific championships round three let's get into this Doesn't look like the quality is too good on the on the feed for this one again. It's been an issue with a couple of the matches for yeah, this tournament. Yeah, good old uh, Adrian Lamb is in the house this afternoon. He flew all the way from the UK right. to present that uh, jersey to his uh, young boy to make the Cooksey mm -hmm. fans work, I guess. But uh, he is lucky now. They try to attack the uh, left side, Ooh. and this time, Bang. early six minutes in. Down. There you go, Kumos. Celebrates. And this will just uh, bring more confidence into his game. He's a prolific try scorer and once Where is this game taking place? Is this in Papua New Guinea or is it? I imagine it is. Yeah, the left side is the home team, right? Decided to shift the ball back the scoreboard, yeah. But the defense from the Kumuls swarming, they're moving up very quickly there. So the players getting close, getting close here. Inside the opposition's red zone. I get it. Oh, did he get? Oh no. It's a try. There it is. Oh, it was a try. Okay, they weren't even celebrating. There you go. Davey Moale, he's, he's getting a bit of attention as he, after he nice. scored that Nice. Oh, he got hurt, though. It's a good hit Ooh. back here by the cookies. They mean business, and they, they hit him. He got a knee to the head, I think. The line. A little grubber through. Ooh, and nice grab. Cool. Looks, looks as peace as the air. I thought uh, he had it. He got that ball in an offside position. Oh, Marcus no, okay. It was offside. Okay, yeah. Makes no mistake. That makes sense. Okay. Adds the extras. 8-4. What's happening here? Oh, oh, did that get head? I, it is. Oh, jeez. It's a sin bit, okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell if they get head contact there, but yeah, I guess they did. Wow, Cook Islands. That's another one, isn't it? These commentators don't seem very good. They're not, like, explaining what's happening. Like, there's, like, no reaction from them. To get over the line. There we go. PNG. There we go. And I'm a little surprised the score through uh, through through like 30 minutes, but is it gonna be a knock on? Oh, we got his hand underneath it. What? What a play! Oh, he did get it. Was his hand under? I thought his hand blocked it. I guess not. Okay. Oh, what a step! Sheesh! Oh, what a play! He's gonna wow. Oh, this is there we go, PNG. Here. That was wild. Okay, so they got the lead now, yeah. That's more what I was expecting. Oh, oh, what a pass. What happened in the back there, though? 
I saw a player get knocked over that was in the try zone. They're complaining. Yeah, let's see if they were. I guess in the review. Let me, let me watch it again. Sorry, I'm in the back here. Back here, somebody gets knocked over. Let me see. Right there. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Beautiful work there by Lachlan Lamb. Captain Courageous. Still early days. No more. Oh, wow. Got through three tackles? Okay. Yeah, this game's getting blown out now. Almost exact same as PG. Oh, my. Did he jump into his head? Yeah, that should be a bin. Yeah. Jeez. Good pass, yeah. Yeah, here, here comes K. Here comes the blowout. This is more what I was expecting to happen. Yeah, Kumos versus New Zealand. That'll be a good Ooh, wow. He's gone. 1v3. If he gets this, that'll be insane. He's still going? There we go, there we go. Okay. Looking for yeah, we got the numbers, yeah. Two and one, should be a good try. Yeah. That was, oh, he did, he did a double spin. <laughs> yeah. That Nane McDonald, they said? Oh, was that a kick? Wow, that was a great play. Yeah, that was a crazy play. That was like an outside, outside, uh... Yeah. Oh, wow. They got some absolute no speed demons. Sheesh. It was on debut, the too. Kid is back. The Wiz Kid. <laughs> Alright, 38 20. Big win. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Alright, let us do. Yeah, let's. Yeah, we got a couple of things I want to check out, actually. A couple of things I'd like to check out here. So we are going to do a quick little... Did I do this? I don't think I did this last time. Yeah, we were going to look up Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. Which is... That's a country... I feel like I've no... Like, I don't really know much about it. But I've definitely, like... I, I, I've heard the name, obviously, a bunch. I don't really know, like, about your guys' country. So let's do a quick little... Just a quick little read through. Maybe we'll do a longer video at some point in the future. But um, Papua New Guinea, independent state of Papua New Guinea. Um, there's the flag. That is an awesome flag, and that that's even the, the emblem is really cool too. That flag. I've, I've not, I don't think I've seen that flag before. That is an awesome flag though. Um, a country in the Oceania, in Oceania, comprised eastern half of the island and its offshore islands in Melan Melanesia, Mel Melanesia, Melanesia. Um, it shares its only land border with Indonesia to the west, and its other close neighbors are Australia to the south and the Solomon Islands to the east. Okay, so it's, it's, yeah, is that what this is? Yeah, this, this is Indonesia here, and this is Papua New Guinea, I believe. Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that you guys were, like, uh, attached to, uh, um, Indonesia. Um, split in the 1880s between German New Guinea in the north and the British territory to Papa in the south. Yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. 840 known languages of Papua New Guinea, making it the most linguistically diverse country in the world. Okay, that is, um, geez, it's also one of the most rural countries with only 13% of its population living in urban, urban centers. That is crazy. Most of its people live in customary communities. What are these? Okay, it's land held under... It's like unwritten, unwritten, like, interesting. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, government estimates reported the country's population is, is to be 11.8 million. Uh, it's actually closer to 17 million. Okay, wow. So that's like a, yeah, that's a lot of people in a small, small island like that. Country is believed to be the home of many undocumented species of plants and animals. Okay. Uh, mainly known for, for farm, farming. Right, I'm not gonna read the whole Wikipedia, but yeah, so there's some good good info here to learn about. I would like to learn about. Oh uh, yeah, I, I think I knew it was like a tropical. Yeah, it's a tropical area. Whoops, what a tropical area. Um, military law, crime. Where is the? What was I looking for? 
Here, here, sport. Okay. Sport is, is an important part of Papua New Guinean culture and rugby league is by far the most... Okay, rugby league is the most popular sport. Okay, that okay, that that, 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 that explains things. That explains why you guys were so hyped to, to my reaction. Um, that must be one of the few countries... There can't be that many countries where rugby league is number one. Because it's not even number one in Australia, right? So, yeah, I don't know if there would be other... Would, like, are any of the other islands around there is rugby league the number one spot sport let me know about that if anyone else if you guys know that but yeah so rugby league is by far the most popular sport okay in a nation where communities are far apart and many people live at a minimal subsistence level rugby league has been described as a replacement for tribal warfare as a way of explaining the local enthusiasm for the game many papua new guineans have become celebrities representing their country playing an overseas professional league even australian rugby league players who have played in the annual state of origin series which is celebrated every year in png are among the most well-known people throughout the nation State of origin is a highlight of the year for most Papua New Guineans, although the sport is so passionate that many people have died over the years in violent clashes supporting their teams. Wow, okay. Papua New Guinea National Rugby League team usually plays against Australia's Australian Prime Minister's 13, a selection of NRL players each year, normally in ports. Oh, ooh, okay. Off to look. When is that going to take place? Um, Yeah, I'd love to see that match. That'd be really cool to watch. Um, Papua New Guinea versus uh, like an NRL team. Or NRL, like sort of an all-star team. Um, anyways, although not as popular, Australian rules football is significant in another way as the national team is ranked second only after Australia. Okay, that's cool too. So a AFL is, uh, or like yeah, Aussie rules is like big there too. Interesting. Um, other major sports that are part of the Papua New Guinea sporting landscape are netball, so shooting football, rugby union, basketball, and in eastern Papu Papua cricket. Interesting. Okay. Well, yeah, that is very good to know i yeah that definitely explains some things for me that i did not uh know about um yeah maybe we'll maybe we'll do a deep dive into like more more into uh like papua new guinea and other nations too but i i keep saying this i've said this probably 10 times but i'm meaning to do a video like on like learning about the histories and stuff of, of like countries in the oceania i feel like that's definitely the, the region that i know the least uh the least about in the world like growing up like in school and stuff i feel like we didn't do too much research or like learning about nations over there because it, it literally it's just so far it's like literally like the other side of the world basically it's, it's pretty far from from where, where i'm at but um yeah like i definitely know more about like europe and like asia and stuff than i do about like the oceania region other other than australia and new zealand obviously i yeah because they're like the big they're like the big yeah like i know a lot more about australia and new zealand but yeah they definitely yeah so i need to do a video going over the history and that stuff just so i know more about the world that's always good to know um but yeah yeah we'll 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 wrap up there i guess um yes that was awesome. obviously a great game great, great great game it was closer than i thought so it was good to see that like it was at least a competitive match because for the cook islands you, you want to have teams like show some promise so it's good that the cook islands uh kept it close i guess they kept, they kept it close for most of the game and then it kind of just got out of, got out of, out of control once they got the sin bin it seemed to seem to ruin it for them but yeah, it's, it's good. You want to have growth in the game and especially rugby, like the small, the really small sports like rugby league, you want to have like as much um, growth. Yeah, gro growth is the key word. Like you need to have the sport growing more if, it, if you want like long term. Um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, we're wrapped up there. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hop into the, the watch party. Um, I'll try to do the Kumbles versus the Kiwis uh, watch party. But we'll for sure do the finals of Australia and um, and Tonga. But yeah, we we'll, we'll, we should we should be able to do it. If, if I don't do both, then I'll just I'll do the highlights for sure to the to the uh, to the Kumuls Kiwis. Um, yeah. Anyways, wrap up there. Thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment your thoughts below. Uh, yeah, let me know for sure if there's any good videos about like rugby league in Papua New Guinea or just about Papua New Guinea in, in in general. Let me know. I'll check them out because yeah, there's. Um, a shocking amount of people watched my Papua New Guinea reaction. So let me know. Let me know for sure in the comments. Um, all right. Thanks for watching.